We have an update about a story we told you about last night. A man convicted of a brutal attack in Lexington is expected to serve the maximum sentence for the crimes. The same Fayette County jury that convicted Perico Coffey on rape and kidnapping charges recommended he serve 46 years in prison. His family argues this sentence is too much, but as Jordan Valines tells us, the Fayette County Commonwealth's attorney says the punishment fits the crime. A 46-year prison sentence. That's what a jury recommended for Picaro Coffee after finding him guilty of rape, sodomy, kidnapping, and robbery. The charges stem from an incident in December 2013. That's when Coffee kidnapped a woman from the Speedway on Versailles Road. The victim was eventually able to escape and run for help. Coffee's mother, who didn't want to show her face on camera, believes the 46-year recommended sentence is unjust. It was unjustified. Kentucky did what they wanted to do. That's what I feel. I, they did what they wanted to do because we're not from here. But Commonwealth's attorney Ray Larson says, to put it simply, the punishment fits the crime. I'm sorry for the defendant's mother because, like I said, she didn't. This wasn't the plan for her son. But her son did it. And her son has been found guilty, and her son is going to prison for a long time. He's earned it. While each count carries a penalty between 10 and 20 years, Larson tells us there's always the possibility that Coffee won't even serve the full sentence. He got a 46-year sentence, and they say these are violent crimes. He has to serve 85 percent, right? Wrong. He's eligible for parole after 20 years. The final sentencing for coffee is expected to take place on June 12th. In Lexington, Jordan Valines with the Fox 56 10 o'clock news. U.S. Marshals arrested Perico Coffee in Michigan in February 2014, two months after the attack.